Greetings and salutations and welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we're going to be looking at grouping, advanced grouping and Power Query. So we have a data set over here, portfolios with stock codes and the stock names and the number of stocks and the position value of each stock. What I want to do is I want to group it by portfolio names. You can see the portfolio names. And I want to have a comma delimited list of all the stocks in each portfolio. I want to do a count of the number of stocks in those portfolios. And then I want to return the stock in this portfolio with the greatest position value and then return the stock code for the stock with the greatest position value. All right, so let's pull it into Power Query. So it's basically called stock data table and I'm going to do all my magic over here. First thing we're going to look at is running the group by the stock standard group by. If we look at the group by options, we're going to say we want to group it by the portfolio name. You can see that the user interface here is rather limited. You can better do a sum, average, max, min, count rows. The one we're going to do is we're going to take all rows. I'm going to show you why we're going to do all rows. I'm just going to give it a name here. Let's call this the stock code. All right. Say OK. So now what we have is we have a table in each column. So we have all the portfolios. And we have a table for each portfolio. And you can see in each of those, you can see what we have. We got the stock codes, we got the stock name, the number of stocks, and the position value. So basically, this table is a summary of whatever went on in the portfolio. So it's a summary, group summary of what is going on in each portfolio. Pretty cool in a table format. All right. So now let's quickly look at the syntax of this. So I'm just going to quickly going to say, so we use the table.group and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So this very first um, column over here is the actual thing we're grouping by. Yeah. And we have the stock codes. I'm just going to quickly make it nice and clean. All right. So we're grouping it by the portfolio name and we're saying stock code each. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff away. We don't really need that. That's sugar syntax. If I press enter, it should still give you the exactly same answer. Remember, the underscore represents each row within this table. Yeah. So basically, each row for the grouping that we've done. So you can see we're returning a table. So what I want to do is, for that, I'm just going to put there in brackets, bring me back the actual stock code. If I press Enter there. You see we're converting that to a list. Now we have a list of stocks. You can see that this list is not really um, sorted um, alpha, alphabetically. So what I'm going to do is, you can see as it is a list, I'm just going to say list.sort. I'm going to give it an argument. We're going to say, give me that order ascending. Close it up. And now we have a list of stocks for each one of those portfolios with the alphabetic list. Next thing we're going to do is we just can now want to take everything in this list and we kind of want to combine it together. So how do we do that? We basically use text.combine. We combine anything, everything in there. Let's close that bracket. And we're going to give it a delimiter of that. And there we go. So now we have our very first requirement done. So we basically have for each portfolio, we got a listing, a comma delimited listing of their stocks in one column. What I would also like is, and this you can do with the user interface, but I'm going to show you how to do it in the actual editor. We're going to add a, a count for each stock. So we're going to say stock count. All right. I'm going to say there each. I'm just going to give it an underscore and we close it up like that. All right. So repeat that step. I'm just going to say, return me the stock code. List of stock codes. And now we can use the list dot count function to count everything in there. Now what we have is now we have a counter of the amount of stocks in each of these portfolios. All right, so what we want to add now is I want to do, I want to determine which is the biggest stock in the portfolio and return that stock code. So what we're going to do, simply we're going to add a new field. 
I'm going to say stock biggest value. And we're going to say each. And I'm just going to put a little space in there just to give you the context. So in each one of these tables, what I want to do is I want to look for the biggest position value and return the stock code with that value. How do we do that? All right, so what we're going to do is you can see that returns a table. So we need to use a table function. I'm going to use the table table dot max function that takes a table as an input yes and what column are we gonna do the max on I'm gonna do the max on position value all right close that bracket let's see what it gives us you can see now it's giving us a record and the record's quite cool because it only returns one record from that entire table. And we know that record contains everything that we need. What I want to do is I can see that the biggest one there is this position value there. I want to return the stock code. How do I do that? Very simply, you put in square brackets the name of the column that you want to return. So in this case, I want to return the stock code. Press enter. It's bringing me the stock with the biggest value. Isn't that cool? So let me bring it back quickly. So let's do a quick test. Let's see, look at Daily Journal Corporation. It's saying back is the one with the biggest one. It's only got four stocks. Let's look at the Daily Journal. Back is the one with the Bank of America is the one with the biggest um, stock value. Isn't that cool? The, the applications for this is quite cool. So if you understand how to do that, you can do very advanced things with grouping that you can't just do with the user interface. So I really hope this helped you. It really helped me a lot. BA Sensei out.